Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome to tutorial number 46. And in this tutorial, we are just going to talk about uh, clearing the form or resetting, creating a reset button. And then I also want to talk about submitting the form. So we'll do the submitting part last, just because that's going to involve a lot of uh, programming talk. And if you guys are following just for design purposes, that's fine. Uh, you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial okay but anything when I start talking about programming if that goes over your head and you get a little bit confused then you know don't worry because <laughs> uh, programmers will probably understand or guys that want to get into programming will understand but if you're following this just for design purposes then again don't even worry if I start saying it's for programming then uh, just switch off <laughs> right there okay so let's go ahead and for now let's uh, put in an input type is equal to text and we'll just give the name is equal to name and this is just so that we've got some data to work with so let's say we were asking the user for their name what is your name then uh, they'd have to fill in their name and now what we can do is just give this a break and we'll add in another button in the bottom over here so input type and we're going to give this input a type of reset and what reset does is it takes whatever data has been filled in in the form and just deletes it pretty much so it's not there anymore so input type equals reset and uh, we'll just give it a name of reset and then we can go ahead and give it a value and we can set this value equal to clear the form and if you guys don't know what a value does then whatever is inside of this attribute value is going to be what's written on our button so maybe just it'll be better if you see uh, what's happening here so value is clear the form and when I run this in Firefox then the value of my button is clear the form so pretty self-explanatory now that you actually saw what it does and as you can see our website now asks what is your name and you can go ahead and fill in your name over there like my name is Quinton and now what happens is because this is a reset button whenever we go ahead and we click on this button whatever's inside of our form disappears and this would work even if you had like 20 input elements on your form or input type of text on your form it would delete all 20 of those so if you've got anything on your form that has been filled in by the user and they click this button boom that information is all gone and that could probably be kind of annoying to a user if they <laughs> click that button by accident so I see there are quite a few websites that don't have a button like this at the bottom of their form and then there are also some that do uh, so it's your preference if you want the user to be able to delete whatever's in their form you know maybe they get halfway through the form and they decide no they don't want to give that information to you anymore and they click clear then you know that's up to them they can do that but um, yeah so if you want to include the clear button on your form go ahead and do that if you don't then that's fine too because I actually think there's a lot of people out there that don't use that button so <laughs> just for the purpose that they don't want anything to get deleted by accident so that's fine and now what we can do, do is we can go ahead and start talking about actually submitting the information that has been filled in so go ahead and just delete that clear button and instead of using a clear button uh, what we want to do now is we're going to use an input with a type equal to submit and that's also going to show up as a button so input type equals submit and then we'll go value is equal to submit or you could put send here if you wanted to so like send and uh, we'll put the name also equal to submit so 
here we go we now have a submit button on our form and if you refresh this in Firefox you can see our button now says submit and it actually has a completely different purpose to the reset button uh, because what the submit button does is it'll take whatever information you filled in so let's say I it says what is your name and I filled in my name Quinton then this information is now stored as like a, a variable or well we'll talk about that variables and programming stuff later but we can now send this information through to our server and actually start doing clever stuff with it like we can start putting it in our database or uh, you know start searching in our database for a value of Quinton or something to that effect so there's a whole lot of programming stuff that we can do with uh, this value over here but only once it has been submitted so only once the user has clicked the submit button and uh, what we need now need to do is we actually need a little bit more information because the submit button on its own just like this isn't gonna send the data to the correct place so let's go back to notepad plus plus and if you remember from my previous tutorial I told you guys that we have some attributes that we actually have to fill in in the top of our form and we're gonna have to do that now so this is what happens when we wanna submit the form we need to find out where we wanna send this information to so because we've asked for my name where do we wanna send my name to and what do we wanna do with it so uh, let's just uh, we'll send it to another page so you type in action that is the attribute and the action is where we want to send our name to so let's just say I wanted to send my name to second page uh, and it would probably have to be uh, some clever page it can't be an HTML page because HTML you can't really do any programming with it so let's just say PHP and if you don't know what PHP is, it's a programming language. Um, but I'm not going to get explain this in too much detail. We just need to know that we have to send our information somewhere to get processed. So that somewhere where we are sending this to is second page. And then we need to find out how we want to send our information to second page. So there are two different ways that you can send information uh, with web development and the first way is a method called get which basically what that does is it'll take my name and it'll put it up here in the top of the browser and it'll attach it on to the end of the URL over here so you'd see something like um, where is the question mark question mark and then name is equal to Quinton so that's probably what you'd see if you were sending a get request or if you were sending your information with the get method and then so let's go ahead and just say a method so you can set this equal to get or you can set this method equal to post and what the post method does is instead of sending it up here in the URL as part of the URL it sends it as a completely separate message so um, you you would get redirected to the different page so let's say uh, you clicked the submit button you would get redirected to secondpage.php and then your name Quinton would arrive afterwards as a second part or a second bit of information so if you guys don't understand what I'm saying then <laughs> don't you know don't worry it's probably a little bit over your head for now but we'll learn about those methods a little bit later on okay so let's just go ahead and click the submit button for fun just to see what happens we go ahead and click it and as you can see our URL changed it at the top here and we went from going to be at index.php or index.html to going to secondpage.php and as you can see secondpage.php doesn't actually exist on my computer at the moment and so we get this error so that's fine <laughs> and uh, if you guys didn't understand anything that was happening here 
then uh, don't worry and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later on when we actually start talking about programming and you guys will eventually understand but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please check out my previous videos comment like and share on all my videos please that's really gonna help my channel grow and please don't forget to sign up on my forum you'll be able to get all of the code from my tutorials over there. So thanks and I'll see you guys next time.